Hey, what's up YouTube? Optigash is here bringing you another video. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the differences and similarities, pros and the cons, and the ups and downs of grinding versus practicing. A lot of you may think that grinding and practicing are the same thing, but I'm here to tell you that they are indeed not the same thing and that there are some pros and cons to both of them, but there is definitely, in my opinion, one that is way more beneficial to a potential esports competitor uh, than the other one. So just to make myself clear, these are both terms used uh, to basically represent the same thing, at least so far that I see in the community. Often people will say that I'm on the grind or that I'm practicing, and they'll use the terms kind of interchangeably. Uh, and really, I wanna tell you guys that there is a difference and you have to make sure as a aspiring pro or even a top competitor who wants to up their game to the next level uh, that there is a difference to the terms grinding and practicing and you have to know which one you are actually doing in order to keep yourself going on the right path. So let's start off with talking about grinding. Uh, for most people, grinding is just, you know, the the spamming of gameplay, right? You just, you get on, you play for four hours, you play a bunch of pub matches and you grind it out the game. Um, and, that, and that's basically true. You're playing for the sake of playing. It requires less communication. It requires less focus. And honestly, you can be doing other things. Hell, I've grinded League of Legends games while watching shows on Netflix at the same time. Now, the pros of grinding are you do rank up your, your profile if that's something you care about. You can climb up to diamond. You can rank up your, your number so you can re-up or whatever. Uh, you do gain mechanical skills and you build muscle memory. So, you know playing for hours on end are going to help you develop mechanical skills just because of the long amount of time you're spending on the game. If you spend five hours playing Gears of War, you're going to go from not being able to wall bounce to probably being able to get a good idea of how to wall bounce. You might not be the same level as some of the pros, but you'll be getting the feel for it. Shameless plug, if you want to learn how to wall bounce, make sure to go check out my wall bouncing video or just subscribe to my channel. But there are some cons to the whole idea of grinding a game. And really, you can sum up all the cons in the one big bubble that is you build bad habits. If you get on a game and you play mindlessly, that's the key word, mindlessly, for hours at a time, you're not going to have the same focus. You're not going to have the same quality of practice as you would if you are indeed practicing. So that leads me into the next topic or the next word of this video. What is practicing? So practicing is going to be more mental. It's going to require more focus and intensity. It's going to require more communication and talking, especially when you're working within a team environment. And it's going to put a lot more strain on your mind. So what are the pros to practicing over grinding? Well, you've still got the same. You can rank up. You can gain mechanical skills. You can build muscle memory. The difference is you're also going to be practicing your communication, which is really important in respawn game types, especially when you're in a shooter genre and everything's so fast paced. Communication is key. And we don't have a mini map luxury in Gears of War. So specifically in our case, having like really solid communication as a fundamental of your gameplay will help your teammates and yourself in terms of being aware of your surroundings in game. Speaking of awareness, it'll also help you improve your self-awareness and your mental focus. So what I mean by this is you will be able to be aware of how intense you are focusing on the game and you'll be able to be aware of like when you start to get tired or fatigued and when you need to take a break and when you can refocus and little tricks that you can convince yourself that you need to stay focused on the game, not start to get distracted by whatever is on your other monitor or what's going on around you. Because when you're in a LAN environment, there are a lot of things going on around you. You have your four teammates, you have cameras men you have an audience you could have all these things when you're playing on a main stage you could have other teams judging you and yelling at you and talking trash you need to be able to stay focused on what you're doing and really practicing is going to help you do that that being said there are cons to actual practicing actual practicing is way more exhausting and it's hard to do it takes a lot of focus and a lot of intensity to practice the right way and it has to be done correctly if you're not doing it the right way then you're not actually going to get all of the benefits out of that practice so you could spend four or five hours thinking you're practicing but if you're not putting the right intensity to it you're really just grinding the game which is actually what most teams do they get on they play for three or four hours they think they've practiced but really they're just grinding the game they're playing for the sake of playing they're playing for building muscle memory they're playing to 
gain mechanical skills, but in terms of their communication or their awareness or their focus, it kind of varies on how much effort they put into it. And they're really not building up towards anything. They're just doing it and expecting results. And think about when you go to a gym, right? You don't just go try to pick up the heaviest weight you think you can pick up. You try to build yourself up there. You find a good starting ground that puts strain on your muscles, but not too much. And you build your way up until you're strong enough to lift up that weight. You have to do the same thing in terms of mental focus and your intensity in game. You can't just sit there and randomly focus on a video game for eight hours with the right intensity that is a competitive mindset. You have to build your stamina up for that. What I suggest to new teams or teams that aren't really used to grinding the long hours or practicing the long hours is to start off with short bursts, right? Practice hard for an hour and then take a good 15, 30 minute break. Relax yourself. Don't focus on the game. Do something else. Go for a walk, get a drink, wash your face, eat lunch or dinner or whatever, eat a snack, do whatever you got to do to take your mind off of it. Come back, get back on the focused practice and bring that intensity again for another hour. Repeat this over and over again, make it longer and longer every practice or every week. And eventually you'll be able to sit there and you'll be able to have that same intensity for the entire six hour tournament that you're playing in online or for an entire six hour practice session. You'll be able to nail back to back scrims like that. That is my idea of what practicing and grinding have in terms of pros and cons and what the differences are. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And I hope a lot of teams out there can really, you know, take this and apply it to their own practices. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what you think the differences are between practicing and grinding because I'd love to hear your thoughts on the subject. And as always, guys, please click the subscribe button down below. I really appreciate the support and I hope to see you all in the next video.